and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I've been MIA, like gone, like haven't been vlogging, haven't been filming. Um, I know you guys hear it. <laughs> I've been sick and, you know, I just been trying to deal, you know, and you guys know I don't like to complain. First off, happy Friday. Um, I previously recorded this video on um, Wednesday, so which is will be today, and I'm probably gonna put it out on Friday. So, like I said, happy Friday. Oops. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been dealing with like a really bad sinus infection, and it's been really like tearing me down. I've been working like really, really hard, and constantly working and working and working and you know I'm a single mom so I have no choice but to work and to provide for my me and my son and my family so um that's why I do it and sometimes when you put things off as like sickness and you just ignore sickness it just tends to get worse and worse and worse and that what ha that's what happened in my case <laughs> I'm the type of person I like to fight I am one of those type females. I just like to keep going. Keep going. Like, I'm freaking energized bunny, and that's not true. We are not an energized bunny because we're not batteries, you know. We live off of air, you know. Uh, that's our oxygen. And if you keep going and you're using all your air supply, and at one point in your life, you, you really need to take care of yourself and get to somebody's doctor and uh, figure it out, you know. Um, me, personally, I, I just like to keep going, you know. Um, because my doctor could not fit me into her schedule um, at the present time. So, I'm just trying to deal and pray about it. And keep, you know, keep God first in your sickness. Um, because he's going to continue to heal you. You might not feel it, but he's working on you. He's working on you. So um, until you get that doctor's appointment spot, and even before that, you want to keep praying and keep meditating and keep drinking your tea, okay? I've been drinking this tea. It's called Organics Lemon Ginger um, Organic Herbal Tea. And I've been drinking this for what a week now and I feel like it's working because especially with prayer and me just trying to be like you know that mom and I don't want to lay down and then if you lay down you're gonna get sick constantly that sickness and those those germs are not going anywhere okay so if you're gonna be laying down you might as well just get prepared to stay down I'm the type of person I don't want to lay down I don't want to stay down um and I haven't really relaxed. My mom said, you just been keep going, 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 going. You have not had time for yourself. You had not, like, you know, you just haven't had time because you're always working. And I'm like, I'm trying to pay the bills. I'm trying to get, you know, ish done. I'm trying to get somewhere in my life. Like, you know, uh, I, I love my condo that I'm at right now. It's nice. It's quiet. It's homey. Um, but I want to upgrade to maybe a two-bedroom for my son because one, right now I only have one bedroom. And it's really big. It's really super big. Um, but I want him to be able to say, you know, mom got us. Um, she had her own bedroom and I had my own bedroom. But I feel like right now at this present time, he's just too young. He's six years old. And I just think about, like... Like, I'm one of those people, I think about, like, somebody's going to crawl in my son's room, or somebody's going to come, you know, you know, break in and get him, and I'm just, like, one of those type of people that think like that. I want my son to be safe, and with him sleeping with me right now, and he's not, like, literally sleeping in my bed, he has his own bed, um, it's like, I feel safe that he's there, you know, he's, and he feels safe that he's close to me, and he doesn't have to be, like, in his own, but lately, girl... He's been asking for his, like, his own room. He's been asking for, like, you know, different things. And I'm like, he's growing up. And I'm, as a parent, as a single mom, I don't know how to accept that. <laughs> and I feel like I need to accept it and roll on. But at the same time, I just feel like right now he's just 
from from the family that I come from, six years old is just too young to have a, a bedroom. Like when my son gets maybe like nine or ten, then yeah. But right now it's just like maybe I should just find a bigger place with a bigger room and save those extra coins for when he does get there and we'll have our own like personal house and stuff like that but right now i i was focusing on that but i kind of swift changed that because um now i'm just kind of like wanting to um get me a like a, a car and um something that i can just like you know have um and the car that i really want is maybe a discovery or a range rover um i really love those cars but if you know, if God says no, then I'm not going to get it. Um, but first off, I think I just want to start off with something that's, you know, can fit me and my son. Um, and I've been looking into, like, you guys, <laughs> my um, my friend was like, you got to get a toy car? But I really love the Mini Coopers. They are so cute. And I went to go check some out, and I got into them. And I actually put Ash in one, so we can I can actually see what we look like in it. And we were cute. Um, and he said he liked it. It was like a four-door one. I don't do two doors, so I'm very claustrophobic. <laughs> But yeah, we were really cute, and we test drive and everything. And I mean, it was really nice. It, it gets up like it, y'all. It it gets up like it's fast. But um, yeah, I was thinking about just like getting one of those like economy cars just to save on gas and stuff like that. And most importantly, it was an electric car, so. It's not going to like be like one of those cars where I need to go here and we need to travel there. No, it's just going to be like a point A, point B type of car. <laughs> uh, this is getting me where I need to go. That's all that matters. So I'm just, you know, I'm really excited because I've saved so much money and I've worked so hard, so, so hard to save up for a newer car. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, life has been really good you know and i know i've been mia here but um i just thank you guys for riding with me you you got we all for to be riding the mini cooper four door <laughs> i can't believe it you guys but i'm really excited and i want to ask you guys something um because i wanted to share this with you guys i know i had this in my haul um when i bought it but i bought these little starbucks drinks the almond milk vanilla and almond milk mocha and before I got sick, I tried it. It was so good. Like, to me, the best one is the vanilla. I quite, I mean, I like it, but I would probably just drink, like, half of it. And then the other half would just be, like, lost or something. But I tend, if I drink half, I'll just, like, um, my friend at work, she's, like, my sister, play sister. I tell her, hey, I got some Starbucks in the fridge. Go get yourself some. Get you a cup. Put some ice in it. It's so good. But this one? I'm not sharing because this is so good. If you are into almond milk, this is good. I would not suggest to drink the whole thing. Maybe just half because it is a lot of calories in it. And it does have like, it's 180 calories. Um, and then the fats are 45. And then the sodium is 120 20 milligrams. And the carbohydrates is 32 grams. Ca cholesterol is pretty good because it's no cholesterol. And the sugars are 28 grams. So, to half and all that, just drink half. <laughs> so, it fills up, uh, I think, a 16-ounce glass. So, it uh, fills up a 16-ounce glass. Um, so, yeah, I've been drinking lots of water um, in my... If you guys are wondering, I've been drinking lots of water in my little canteen can thing. And then, I've been drinking zero Gatorade. So zero sugar, um, and I've been drinking this, and this is way better than the um, the Gatorade I normally buy, which is the low sugar one. So I love that one, and then um, I kind of bought Ag JJ some of these these mods like apple juice um, because he seems to be getting like a little bit of stuffiness in his like. In his face and he said that he couldn't breathe out one of his nostrils so I want to be prepared for him and then I got him some uh, meds and stuff um, like 
kids Benadryl. I got him that because that seems to work. And each time that I take him to the doctor, they always say get him kids Benadryl, and it works. Um, and then I also have a haul for you guys, which is um, a thrift store haul. And I actually went to the thrift store like weeks ago, and I didn't get a chance to show you guys what I got. Um, but like I say, this today is Wednesday, and I know this vlog is going to be out on Friday, so, yeah. Um, so, I went to the, um, thrift store, and I got this, um, this blue jean jacket. I always wanted, like, a blue jean jacket, but I couldn't find one that, like, I like oversized blue jean, like, coats and stuff like that, and I never could find one. I found a large one. Um, you guys, by the way, I've lost some weight, and I can actually fit into a medium and I still can fit into some of my larges but the fact that I can get into a medium is really cool and this shirt right here that I got on here as you can tell is that's a, this is a large and it's like almost falling off me but yeah this sickness has to taken a toll on me and then before that I was doing some um at home workout and then I want to show you guys see this box back here this is my investment that box is my investment so I'm going to be able to um, show you guys in, in, just hold on just wait I'm going to show you guys what I invested in um, and I just really been feeling good you know um, any other time when I was like overweight and I would get sick I'm telling you I would lay down I would like lay down and make it worse but now that I, I'm older and I am more wiser <laughs> I keep going keep going don't sit down don't stop keep going but at some point you have to stop and relax and um you know um as long as god gives me health as long as god give me i mean well as long as god give me uh breath and as as god give me like all my motive skills to touch to taste to all that good stuff to see um and you guys can hear me um I'm going to keep pushing, you know. I'm going to say people, like, I'm trying to get up that mountain. I'm trying to get to where I need to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I want to get to the get, you know. I'm going to get up there to that mountain and be like, I did this. You know, as a single mom, you can do it. You can, I don't want to say push yourself when you're sick, but just kind of, you know, take it easy. Rest. Get your rest. And if you got somebody that can take care of your kids or your kiddo, definitely give them a call. Maybe send them a card with a little change in it or gift card. And everybody that I sent the gift card, let me know in the comments below. Did you get your gift card? Were you happy? Were you satisfied? Because I was really excited when I grabbed them. Ashton actually picked out two of them. Um, and I was just really excited that we hit 4K. And thank you guys so much for riding with us. Riding, riding, riding. Hey! <laughs> but yeah, let's get to this thrift store haul. So this is the jacket that I got. Hope you guys can see it. But this is the jacket that I got. It's kind of like a washed out type of jacket. It has two pockets. It has like big buttons. Um, and then it has like a upper pocket, another pocket here. And I love it because it's like, like I said, it's like washed out. And then the back is just simple. Um, and then I love the side. It gives me like that Barker type of vibe of blue jean jacket. I love it. And so if it gets too like big or whatever, I could just kind of put the button like, you know, put the put the thing in here and it'll be like my size or whatever. But this is not my size. It's just overly. Um, look at him. <laughs> Y'all hate it. I got this from the thrift store too as well. This is a Power and Hyde Street. Um, cable car from San Francisco and I think it's really cute I told him like maybe this may be a collector's car but he's still he's still playing with it so yeah did you say hi to the people hi you gotta stay back here so they can see you <laughs> so yeah okay so yeah I got that and it has like the big um, collar thing here and the arm part is really cute because you can fold it up and uh, bring it down once it gets cold or whatever. I really like this. I'm not going to lie. In the summertime, I'm so glad I got this because in the summertime, like Dallas weather sometimes is off and on. So if it gets like a little chilly or lately I've been like um, 
um, really cold to the touch, like to the hands, and I just been really, really cold. <laughs> so I normally take me a jacket with me, so I just place this in like my my um my big bag because I have a Tory Burke um brown bag. You guys seen it before, and I can just place this in it and go. Cause yeah, I'm just so happy that I found a blue jean jacket. And oh, this blue jean jacket is from Lane Bryant. For all my curvy girls, hey, um, this was like, I when I found this and I said it was an oversized, I was like, man, I'm so happy. Um, and then, um, the, I think the size is a 26. If you guys know what a 26 is, let me know, because I have no idea. Uh, and trust me, I love my curves. Hey, honey. Okay, so this next shirt that I got, I, when I got it, when I picked it off the rack, it was not ripped. It was not ripped at all. And I, when I saw the lady, it, like, I think I looked away when I was at the counter and maybe it ripped and she didn't say anything about it. But this shirt is so freaking cute. If she hadn't ripped it, but thank God my mom, my mom hands are blessed. She's from Alabama. So she's going to sew it up for me. So yeah. So mom is going to sew it up because I think she really did rip my shirt. I love this shirt. Um, so it has like where you can see like kind of like the shoulder. Stop it. The um, shoulder like kind of like that. And it has like ruffle kind of like. You guys, to be honest, I never liked it ruffles. Don't tell nobody, but I never liked the ruffles. And then when I saw these shirts, I was just like, I have to get them because they're cute. But this is what the shirt looks like. And you can see that hole right there. You can definitely see that hole. It's a long hole. So mom said she would um, sew it for me. Um, but yeah, I was just like stunned because it's like, this wasn't there when I took it off the rack. So how did it get there? Maybe... I feel like maybe it had like one of those little things on them. Because at the thrift store they have those little um, things when you walk. Like the little um, detector thing. When you walk out the door it kind of beats off or something. I guess if you're stealing or something. And it had like a lot of those little alarm things on it. And I think she ripped it and didn't really like know how to get it off. And then ripped it. And yeah. I just feel like if you ripped it you should just be honest about it. And you know in today's society. Some people are not as genuine as they say they are. Oh, <laughs> no. Nah. Um, but, um, yeah, she should have just at least said, you know, I'm sorry. I ripped it. You know, go get another shirt or something. But I really didn't want another shirt. And I'm really not, like, overly, like, sad about it. I'm really just worried about my health. I'm not worried about that shirt because that shirt really can't do anything for me. Um, but, you know, make my body look good. <laughs> but yeah I got this other shirt here look at that detailing it's kind of like country bohemian like and when I saw it I was like it's so cute so you can wear it I guess off the shoulders and on the shoulders but yeah it's really cute and you can wear this in the summer spring winter fall um because I, I feel like it will go with summer and then if you wear like a nice little blazer with it um you can definitely get away with it um so i really like it because it's it's movie <laughs> type of shirt and it at the bottom it hangs so i love those type of shirts um so that's it for the clothes part because i really didn't get um, like anything like extravagant as far as my clothes wise um i did find this cup and any glass or any food, like food storage items or anything that's got to do with like um, cleaning wise. If you hear any noises, AJ behind me, he has his trains in here. Um, so yeah, but as AJ did. So I got this cup. It says mom, mom fuel. Kind of, yeah. So yeah, it says mom fuel. Um, and this is from Holland. Fresh and original. So I paid like a dollar forty nine for it. But yeah, I love finding like little cups and stuff. My mom actually wanted it, so I may just go ahead and give it to her. 
Ashton. And then I found some awesome candles. Like, I can tell you guys, you don't have to go to, like, Bath and Body Works. You don't have to go to, like, online to buy all these high-priced candles. You can also buy these candles. You can buy all the candles on, um, at, well, not on, but at the thrift store. Because at the thrift store, they have, like, lots of candles. You just have to look for them. And then also ask them if they have any candles to bring to the front. And they'll bring them. Um, so, I did get a Chase Bay Peak uh, home scent and this is uh, Macintosh apple and it smells really good can I just take the top off so you guys can oh it smells good don't it uh, but yeah I got a Macintosh apple mom um, actually found it before me um, and I just came behind her and found it she said that she put the top on it because it didn't have a top on it so I'm thankful my mom found it and found the top because if I didn't see the top I was probably not going to buy it <laughs> But yeah, I love that she um, found that. And then this right here, this candle is a Bath and Body Works candle. That's why I told you guys, if you find a candle at the thrift store, don't be afraid to get it because it smells just like any ordinary candle that you buy from Bath and Body Works um, in whatever place it is. I know. Um, and then, so this one's called Rainforest Sugar Cane Scented Candle. And it was like a whopping twenty two fifty. What kind of secret are you telling me? <laughs> okay, and so this is what it looks like here. And so you would pay twenty twenty two dollars and fifty cents for this at Bath and Body Works, but at the thrift store I only paid um, two ninety nine for it. And this was also behind like the rest or whatever. I kind of figured like she was trying to keep it or something because she didn't want to give it to me. So you can't really hold when you when you work at the thrift store like you can't hold like stuff from the customers because I mean they're helping the you know help helping the thrift store stay there so I saw it I wanted it so I just went ahead and bought it and then I um, found this nice plate and hey y'all hey girl hey hey y'all uh, I thought it was really cute and it kind of matches this. Mom, mom, uh, mom, feel glass. Mom said it's from where? Down south. Down south. Um, Alabama. And some people in Texas say it too. Y'all? Country? Tennessee. Nash. Yeah, that's the same thing. Nashville too. Alabama. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Y'all hear mama talking back in the background, Lindsay? Mm -hmm. But anyways, I think that's all we have um, for the haul. Bless heart. your heart, baby. Bless your heart. Um, so, Ashley, you want to do your little outro kind of like? You guys, we have a new intro and a new outro, so stick around and see our new outro. Hope you guys liked our new intro because my old intro that I had of the family kind of like disappeared. I don't know where it went. I'm not going to try to find it. Um, so I just went ahead and did like something fresh, something new. Um, so yeah. Hey, JJ. Uh -huh. You too, family. Are you going to give us a false up? Are you going to try do it right now? Bye. <laughs>